Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya. Fellow Kenyans and I have some concerns and questions that we would like for you to respond ASAP. You and your government took an oath to respect, uphold, and safeguard the Constitution of Kenya. The demolitions without an alternative for the th thousands of families in Kariobangi is proof enough of your failure to uphold that oath. In case you were not aware, this act is a contravention of Articles 43, Clause 1, Paragraph A to D of the Constitution of Kenya and Article 25, Clause 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Mr. President, in the court of public opinion, this is a crime against humanity. Those 5,000 Kenyans who are now homeless risk being brutally arrested or killed for breaking curfew rules. This makes us wonder, why would you send the security forces to do a medic's job? Yani, you care about our health so much, you send the police to beat us and kill us. Because we have watched in sheer horror as mothers who queued for hours to give you the power and position you now enjoy cry their souls out for the children they have lost in the name of enforcing the curfew. Are you aware that this is taking away the right to life against Article 26 of the Constitution of Kenya? We are fighting a health pandemic, Mr. President, not a terrorist attack. Here is a reality check. Young people in this country make up 75% of the population. We add up to roughly around 20 million young, energetic, hungry, unemployed, frustrated, idle, targeted, victimized, and criminalized Kenyans for just being young people. Yet you still oppress us and suppress us when the only thing we want to do is live out our full potential and thrive for the good of Kenya. And it's not just youth. A majority of Kenyans are disappointed and have lost faith in your less than satisfying style of leadership. And according to the science of physics, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. But quick question, what will be the reaction of an oppressed 75% against the oppressing 25%? What would happen when push comes to shove under these current circumstances that have led to massive job losses and loss of any gainful um, economic activity? What happens when the poor have nothing else left to eat, Mr. President? Because he and your reality were ground mkubwa. And common sense should be telling you that this combination of energy, frustration, and uncertainty is a recipe for disaster and requires immediate attention. But you seem not to care, and you seem to have terribly and horribly failed. Why don't you just resign and let a capable Kenyan take over?